be the Bulls off the tip. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Garland is out there with the Coral. Then it's Evan Mobley. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Levert. In at the three, the small forward. Lopez. First personal foul. First team foul. Lujovic finds Levine. Lock at six. And he uses the glass on the way. We're talking about a three-level score. Right now, Zach Levine getting to the painted area. High percentage finish. Passes to Levert. Here's the dish to Lopez. Mobley kicks to a Carl. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. The three from Garland. And it's MP with the rebound. And so MP will bring it up for Chicago. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Garland, no good. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. I asked him about the challenge of playing against a team that's so smart and under control on offense. And he said they really do a terrific job of execution. No miscues or missteps. We need to be just as disciplined if we're going to get the upper hand. And since they're down one to nothing in the season series, they'll have to do that really well tonight. Yeah, David, thanks. We appreciate the report. They're in a tough spot to try to figure out how to slow down those shooters, GA. Yeah, it's going to take a great defensive effort from all five guys. Should be fascinating to watch. I think part of that is making sure your effort allows you to stay connected to shooters. That takes two things, coordination and communication. Ball, no good. Last game for the Bulls. They picked up the W against the Pistons. Here's the pass to Mobley. He feeds it to Lopez. Over ball. Lopez, no luck. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They came away with the victory in the last meeting, which, by the way, was also in this building. And the last time they were able to come away with that win because of their depth. Great production from the reserve. I think sometimes the bench can make or break you in a particular game, and that was a total team effort, no question. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade, five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. Here's MP, Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Shooting foul. Two free throws. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good. Second team foul. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Alex Caruso is checked in for Levine. And it's Dosumu in for Lonzo Ball. Rubio misses. You're right, GA, they have, and the draft's been essential for the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in, Mobley, Garland, Sexton, they nailed just about every one of their selections. Here's Steffens, and the foul called on Io Dosumu. Open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. On the court for Cleveland, they've got Mobley. A Coro out there with Darius Garland. And there's Robin Lopez. And it's Lavert in at the small forward position. 
MP's shot is good. And that's a case where DeMar DeRozan's teammates benefiting from him being a willing distributor. This is a very team-first guy. GA, it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. And off the left side of the rim, and it rolls in for him. DeRozan's got his third bucket of the night. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Lavert kicks to Mobley. MP against Levert. Over MP. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. In the corner, it's Levine. Back to MP. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Levert the pass to Garland. Misses from close range. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And yes, it's good. MP's got four points now in the quarter. The, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Here's Garland. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. Well, getting in the lane and making your presence known is a crucial part of the defense for these guys. Now, here's MP. And the shot goes in. 12 points for MP. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And the foul called on him. Fourth personal foul. Contest. Second team foul. And so here's Cleveland. They're scoreless since the first half. To stop the run. This ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on... Now Cleveland shooting a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them to say the least. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with MP. And it's Drummond in at the five down low. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now, here's MP. Following the miss by Kevin Love. Ryan Lopez. Pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times, but you really just tried to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the ground. Listen, that's a look at him, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Here's Santos. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got four assists in the game. And Ball sets up his teammates. And when they're open, quick to whip it around. One of the best ball movers in the league. Has to Lopez. Here's Love. The Cavaliers again can hit. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Boy, what else is new? This guy's accuracy this quarter has been phenomenal. Here's Garland. After Chicago, picking up a basket just Garrett moments ago. Levert. A nice shot by LeVert. Now, there's a reason Karis LeVert shoots well from the field. This guy is great at picking great opportunities. DeRozan a screen on LeVert. The drive by MP. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 
MP's got 19 points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Garland looking it over. Shoots over DeRozan. And the shot is long. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Then this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pass to Love. Outside Garland. To the left side wing. Six to shoot. Love with the screen on Levine. The wide open look here for Garland. Off target from three point range. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. And MP throws it down. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And so here's Cleveland after the Bulls pick up two. Two minutes remaining in the game. Love outside. Beyond the arc. Chicago grabs the miss. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Outside DeRozan. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter, and the Bulls tack on two more. Well, as always, that mid-range game of DeMar DeRozan, almost unstoppable. Levert against MP. Levert with it. To stop the drought, and it's good for two. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Chicago. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so now on the year, they'll have 35 wins to their credit. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2-0 in the season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for MP. This guy has been shot making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Outside DeRozan. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Santos, and the call will be against Karis Liver. That is his first foul of the game. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Vucevic checked in for Andre Drummond. Williams comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Alex Caruso is checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Trogic in for Lonzo Ball. Here's Neto. After the made shot from Nikola Vucevic, shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Love the pass to Stevens. And it's Chicago with the rebound. MP left side. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. Chicago Bulls win. The Bulls. 74, the Cavalier. What's up, MP? What's up, boy? How are you? <clears throat> but hey, good. You sound like hoodie weather.
leave them frozen when I pull up for the jumper. Game winners, all shivers, all winner. It's the playoff play, y'all, y'all beginners. Kick off the Gucci slides, lace the 40 belows. My arm in the rim, look at shorty below. How's the weather down there? Is it cold out? Like Dr. J's afro, you getting blowed out. Game sold out, red carpet rolled out. Smile for the camera, chill, yeah, no doubt. You see the ice grills, I think y'all might chill. They start rolling down the window on the flight field. Next. Whoo, boy, you give me some. That. Give me some. Yes, sir. <laughs> Seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Second half underway. Here's who Billy Donovan's got on the floor. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's MP in a small forward. And the basket by DeRozan. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Mitchell, the pass to Lopez. To the paint. And it's Lopez with the jam. Feed the interior, good things will happen. Chicago's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. MP with it, and Lopez oh. picks him up. Oh, and he got fouled on his own. Oh. They say to shoot two. And the Bulls, that's a team that's built to win now. But boy, is the top of the Eastern Conference stacked. So looking at the East, where do you think Chicago slots in, RJ? Boston, Miami, Milwaukee, Philly, each of those teams have MVP level talent, and it's going to be a battle. I don't know who's going to come out on top. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised many with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but his star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you and force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Garland. Doesn't go for him. Vucevic with some nice D. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And the dunk by DeRozan. Ooh, and when DeMar DeRozan is cooking with grease, he is borderline unstoppable. And he's feeling it right now. Mitchell, and another miss by Cleveland. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. MP against Mitchell. He can't get that one to fall. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Levert outside. Pass to Lopez. Garland with the ball. And it's Chicago with the board. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. And MP with a basket on the assist by Vucevic. MP's got 15 points. Yeah, I mean, they put so much focus on Vucevic, it leaves a wide open man. Mitchell finds Garland. Shoots over ball, and the shot is good by Garland. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now, you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core. Could be a game changer, though, with this roster, even with all they gave up to get him. Pass to Levine. 4-3. And again, it's 
Chicago with a three. You can see the work Levine has put in on his three-point shot. He is now a legit threat from deep. Down low. Here's Mitchell. Chicago grabs the miss. You cannot play worse offensively, although he's trying. And he hasn't made one shot yet. I feel for them. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. For Cleveland, they've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Mobley, a screen on ball. Garland, the pass to Levert. Over MP. The shot by Levert, no good. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. MP. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Such long arms. Mobley is tough to do anything against. Outside Garland. Pass to Lopez. Fades away. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got six rebounds now in the game. And here's Ball. The three ball. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fourth assist with that last one. Nice quick trigger from Ball right there. Good at sizing up the defense and knowing when to shoot off the pass. DeRozan against Mobley. And the layup falls. Mobley's got six. Adept at fending off aggressive coverage. Mobley already looking like a vet out there. Ball finds MP. Now DeRozan, and so the ball out of bounds. DeRozan touched it last. So, no problem for Chicago as they get the win. This one. Fans, thank you for joining us for tonight's big game. We hope you have a safe trip home, and we'll see you next time. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day, and peace out.